that there's some stories that um, occurred at CERN, supposedly uh, dimensional beings or satanic portals. The genius of a child, often underestimated, can sometimes reshape the entire adult world. At CERN, that staggering truth has been laid bare. Their revolutionary quantum AI drone, designed to probe the quantum realm, recently picked up unmistakable signs of portal activity. This astonishing data didn't just break new ground in physics, it shattered old assumptions and spotlighted the profound insights of an unlikely figure. It's hard to wrap your mind around that there is something larger than everything. The child, whose brilliant yet audacious theories about interdimensional gateways were once considered pure fantasy, is now hailed as a prophet. The universe you see had been hiding its biggest secrets in plain sight, and only one young mind truly saw them. Child's Prophecy Confirmed It began subtly, an almost imperceptible blip on the highly sensitive sensors of CERN's new quantum AI drone network. These drones, not much larger than a typical hummingbird, but packed with advanced quantum computing chips, were designed to map the subtle quantum fluctuations within the massive collider's tunnels, ensuring optimal conditions for experiments. They were the silent guardians, the unseen eyes of the quantum realm, one particular drone, nicknamed CHIRP by its lead technician, Dr. Eris Thorne, for its unusual high-frequency data bursts, was stationed near Sector 7, a segment of the collider notorious for its complex energy fields. CHIRP was no ordinary machine. Its AI was a marvel, capable of processing quintillions of data points per second, far exceeding human comprehension. It operated on a principle called quantum entanglement allowing it to gather information from multiple points simultaneously, instantly, like a single mind observing a thousand places at once. This capability was supposed to make it more efficient, not a harbinger of a reality-shattering event. Then came the first undeniable signal. Not a particle collision, not a quantum fluctuation easily explained by standard models. This was different. CHIRP detected an energy signature that was both alien and incredibly precise, a perfect waveform of unknown origin. It pulsed, appearing for just 500 milliseconds, then vanished. Dr. Thorne initially suspected a sensor malfunction or perhaps an anomaly within the collider's immense magnetic fields, which you see were about 100,000 times stronger than Earth's own magnetic field. Such immense power often created strange side effects but the drone's self-diagnostic systems reported optimal function. The signal repeated a few hours later, stronger this time, lasting nearly a full second. It was like a door, briefly flickering open, then slamming shut. The data streamed into CERN's central quantum computing cluster, an array of machines cooled to temperatures colder than deep space, just a fraction of a degree above absolute zero. The AI within the cluster, designed to sift through mountains of information for even the slightest hint of new physics, immediately flagged Chirp's readings as a class alpha anomaly. To put it mildly, this was unprecedented. Never before had such a clear, consistent, yet utterly unexplainable event been recorded. The energy readings were colossal, focused to an area no larger than a dinner plate, yet they seemed to emanate from outside conventional space-time. It was as if something was pushing through, from somewhere else entirely. This is where the story of the world's smartest kid weaves into this unfolding drama. For years, a young boy named Ethan Vance, barely 14 years old, had been a fringe figure in the scientific community. He was a phenomenon, a child prodigy whose theories on interdimensional portals and the potential role of advanced quantum AI in detecting them had been published in obscure online journals. His work, though mathematically sound, was considered too speculative, too fantastical by the established scientific elite. Ethan argued that the universe wasn't just three dimensions of space and one of time. He posited hidden extra dimensions, curled up so small we couldn't see them, yet accessible through specific quantum resonant frequencies. He even suggested that CERN's collider, while not intentionally designed for it, could inadvertently generate the very conditions needed to tickle these hidden pathways, making them temporarily detectable. Many people were crazy about his ideas, but just as many dismissed them. What many overlooked is the simplicity and elegance of his proposed mechanisms. 
His most shocking fact? Ethan had specifically predicted the type of energy signature and duration of portal activity that Chirp was now detecting. He described it as a transient dimensional tear, a brief energetic fluctuation indicative of a gateway struggling to open. He even detailed the precise quantum frequencies that would be involved, frequencies that Chirp's advanced sensors were now astonishingly registering. This wasn't a lucky guess, it was an incredibly detailed, foresightful prediction. The world's smartest kid wasn't just right, he was uncannily, terrifyingly accurate. The silent guardians of the quantum realm had just screamed out his validation. The implication was staggering. An unknown passage had just briefly manifested and a child had foretold its coming. But what would happen if that doorway stayed open? From folly to foresight. The confirmation of Ethan Vance's prediction sent a seismic tremor through CERN's leadership. Dr. Thorne, initially a skeptic, found himself revisiting Ethan's papers with a frantic urgency. The academic world, notorious for its reluctance to embrace radical ideas from outside its established circles, was forced to confront a paradigm shift. You see, the scientific method demands reproducibility and verifiable data. For years, Ethan's theories, while brilliant, lacked the empirical evidence needed to move them from the realm of hypothesis to accepted fact. Now CHIRP, the quantum AI drone network, was providing exactly that. The initial blips near Sector 7 were followed by a series of increasingly distinct, though still momentary, energy surges. These were not random. They were patterned like a rhythm from another reality. The sheer audacity of Ethan's work lay in its simplicity, yet its profound implications. He didn't just suggest portals, he described a mechanism for their creation and detection, rooted in advanced quantum mechanics and string theory, subjects that even seasoned physicists struggled with. He proposed that the immense energy densities generated by the Large Hadron Collider could, under specific fluctuating conditions, briefly decohere the very fabric of space-time at a localized point. This decoherence, he argued, wouldn't create a stable wormhole, but a fleeting, unstable pocket of altered reality a portal activity event. He'd meticulously calculated the energy thresholds and quantum signatures, stating that an advanced AI monitoring the quantum vacuum would be the only way to catch such ephemeral events. And he was right to an astonishing degree. The data from CHIRP pouring into CERN's mainframes showcased this perfectly. Each portal event was incredibly short-lived, measured in milliseconds, but its energy signature was immense akin to a small lightning strike contained within a tiny bubble, then collapsing. The most shocking fact is that these bursts, while brief, demonstrated a coherent structure, a complex interplay of gravitational and electromagnetic forces that defied conventional physics. This wasn't just random noise. It was a deliberate, if fleeting, interaction. Scientists at CERN had, in fact, been looking for extra dimensions for a long time. The idea isn't new. String theory, for instance, suggests as many as 10 or 11 dimensions with the extra ones curled up so tightly they're invisible to us. But finding empirical evidence? That was the holy grail. Researchers had speculated about many black holes or exotic particles that could escape into other dimensions, but never a direct tear in the fabric of space-time itself. Ethan's genius lay in connecting these abstract concepts to a practical detection method predicting exactly what a sophisticated quantum AI drone would see if such a thing occurred. His insights felt less like prediction and more like memory. The race was on to understand how a kid, working largely in isolation, could have anticipated what the world's most advanced particle accelerator was now observing. His papers, once relegated to the digital dusty shelves of ignored brilliance, were now the most sought-after documents within CERN. Teams of physicists, who had once subtly mocked his science fiction, were now poring over his equations, trying to replicate his logic to understand the deeper implications of a child's prophetic foresight. It revealed a humbling truth. Sometimes, youthful, unburdened perspectives can see things that years of institutionalized thinking miss. The thing nobody tells you is, breakthroughs often come from the edges, not the center. The energy signatures, while fleeting, left behind residual traces, like the lingering scent of ozone after a storm. 
What these traces indicated was even more concerning, suggesting a direction of travel, an opening not just anywhere but to somewhere. Gateway to the Unknown With Ethan Vance's theories now serving as a chilling roadmap, CERN's focus shifted dramatically. The initial skepticism evaporated, replaced by a desperate urgency to understand the nature of these detected portal events. The Quantum AI drone network, particularly CHIRP and its sibling drones, were reprogrammed, their quantum processors dedicated solely to monitoring and analyzing the subtle space-time distortions around Sector 7. This wasn't just about detection anymore, it was about detailed reconnaissance. The drone's AI was now tasked with an unprecedented mission to map the invisible architecture of these transient gateways. The drone's capabilities were truly astounding. You see, a conventional drone operates within our three dimensions, gathering visual or electromagnetic data. But the quantum AI drone could operate differently. Its quantum entanglement sensors allowed it to feel the space-time curvature to detect anomalies in the very fabric of reality. Imagine trying to see a ripple on a pond, but your sensors could measure the water molecules being stretched and compressed. That's a simplified way to describe what CHIRP was doing. It could map the gravitational distortion, the minute shifts in the electromagnetic spectrum, and the almost imperceptible changes in the quantum vacuum energy that heralded a portal's brief existence. The data that streamed back was, to put it mildly, mind-bending, the portal activity wasn't a flat opening like a simple doorway. Instead, it appeared to be a complex, multi-dimensional vortex, a funnel of energy that briefly pierced our reality. The diameter of these openings averaged about five feet, roughly the size of a large picnic table, but their depth was impossible to measure in conventional terms. The reading suggested it plunged into something immeasurable, a space that defied our current understanding of physics. The most shocking fact is that within those fleeting milliseconds, the drone sensors registered a momentary drop in local gravity, as if something incredibly dense, or perhaps from another gravitational constant, was attempting to pass through. What many overlooked is the incredible speed at which this detection happened. Light travels at approximately 186,000 miles per second. But quantum entanglement, the core principle of these drones, allows information to be shared instantly, regardless of distance. This meant the drone wasn't merely observing, it was instantaneously interacting with the quantum fluctuations that define these portals, giving CERN a real-time window into an impossible phenomenon. This deep dive by the quantum AI drone was providing insights that no traditional instrument could ever hope to gather. The big question, of course, was what lay on the other side. Ethan Vance, the world's smartest kid, had speculated that these were not just random tears, but points of contact with other brain worlds. Parallel universes existing just a hair's breadth away from our own. He theorized these other universes might have different physical laws, perhaps even different dimensions of space. The fleeting bursts of energy and gravitational anomalies hinted at radically different environments, unseen landscapes or even unimaginable entities. It was a terrifying, exhilarating thought. The analysis of the residual energy signatures also revealed something else, a faint recurring pattern, like a whisper echoing from across an immense void. What was it trying to communicate? The next step. The recurring patterns in the residual energy detected by the quantum AI drone network and analyzed by CERN supercomputers became the next colossal mystery. It wasn't random noise, it was a sequence, complex and intricate, repeating with subtle variations. This was the moment CERN's top minds truly grappled with the idea of communication from another realm. You see, for decades, humanity had scanned the stars for intelligent life, hoping for a signal. But not all things are what they seem, and perhaps the message wasn't coming from light years away, but from a dimension just inches beyond our reach. Ethan Vance, the world's smartest kid, quickly became central to deciphering this cosmic puzzle. His detailed theoretical framework, which had predicted the portal activity itself, also contained startling hypotheses about interdimensional communication. He believed that if these portals were indeed transient connections to other brain worlds, then information or even coherent patterns could bleed through at the quantum level. He called it quantum resonance harmonics a subtle energetic fingerprint left behind by the interacting dimensions. 
It was an audacious claim, but given his previous accuracy, it couldn't be ignored. The Quantum AI drone data was the key. Its unparalleled ability to measure minute quantum fluctuations allowed it to record the ghost of these portal events, capturing the subtle energetic echoes long after the physical opening had vanished. These echoes, when mapped against Ethan's predicted resonance harmonics, started to make sense. It wasn't a language in the human sense, not words or symbols, but a complex mathematical sequence. It was a kind of universal constant, a message embedded in the very laws of physics, a grand design. What many overlooked is how this changes our understanding of intelligence itself. If other dimensions exist, and if they can communicate through fundamental physical laws, then intelligence isn't just about biological brains or silicon chips. It's woven into the fabric of reality itself, a deeper, more profound form of consciousness that might manifest across countless parallel worlds. The sheer audacity of this idea made many people crazy about the possibilities, while others clung to skepticism. What do you think really lies beyond the fabric of our known reality? Do you think we should open that door? Hit that like button and subscribe for more mind-bending tales.